Hey everyone, it's finally here. I finally finished the Enter World Code, at least for the time being, and I'm excited to show off what I've been doing. So let's jump in. You'll notice there's a few other minor things. There's, for example, a loading screen, but it only shows for us an instant there because it takes very little time for the program to load. And there's an exit button here now, so you can exit without having to leave the program and exit externally. Um, I'm going to quickly type in my information. All these other buttons like create account still work as they did before, so I'm not going to show them off. Um, once we come in, if I create a character and follow the steps, when I finish creating the character, it'll actually enter me directly into the world, the same as if I select an existing character and enter world. Um, I'm just going to select an existing for now. Once again, the loading screen shows, but it only shows for a second. This is the name of the area that you're in. So once I add more areas, which I'm set up well to do, but it'll take me a long time probably just to fill out this first area with content. Um, as you enter other areas, a different nameplate like that will show up for, for other areas. Um, you can see I've got movement in place now. My little character animates, and it is the same character that you created with all that same appearance. If I were to create a new character with different appearance, that's what would show up. You can also see my little nameplate with my first and last name, followed my, by my username. Uh, I'm not going to ever show your email to other users, but the username I will be sharing, and it's going to be used to try and add people as friends and other things like that down the road. There are colliders on some of these things. You can't run through bushes or rocks. Um, you can run in front of stuff. Uh, there's a few things like these lampposts that you can run behind um, or the tops of trees. Um, that's a little bit buggy. I will have to fix that later. I just realized that I've got to adjust the layers on that. But, um, this area is actually, even though it's only a small fragment of the first area of the map that I'm trying to build. It's still a decently large space for you to run around and explore. I've blocked off the ways to get out of it to explore other, other parts of this first area with logs and things, um, but even still there's a little town here you can run around and check out. Um, and there's actually several exits that will eventually become open. Um, yeah, there's, if we go to the far bottom over here, there is a uh, bit of forest area that you can start to see. I'm really excited to get to the point where I can open up these exits and show off more, but it takes a long time to build out this stuff, and I wanted to keep it contained to an area that was more or less finished looking. Um, and there's a little bit of a sort of a park here with some flowers and benches, and the stream over at the top. So yeah, uh, even this is not as detailed as I can eventually go, and of course later on there will be NPCs running around and all kinds of stuff that will be added, but it's, it's looking decently nice to start things off. <clears throat> now I'm going to enter with a phone at the same time. I want to show off that multiplayer works. So here you go. I've got a second user. Um, that has just entered the world and now we can see each other. If uh, I'm not sharing my phone screen, but my phone sees the exact same thing, but obviously with um, the other character in the center of the screen and being controlled by movement. The phone uses tap to move controls, whereas the uh, computer uses the arrows. Um, but otherwise they're doing pretty much the same thing. You can see it's a completely different appearance on the phone because that's a different character and as I said before, no matter which character, you can make a character looking any appearance you want within the limits of character creation and it'll look the same here. And the last thing to mention is there's now a main menu up here which if you click on it, it slides out or back in. Um, I'm just noticing that this line should carry the whole way through, so that's another minor thing I need to fix, but I'm not going to recreate the video for that. Um, all of this stuff is blocked right now. Eventually these will be things like settings, character set, a uh, character info where you'll be able to choose your, your add points to your character and look at your creatures and everything, a map, 
There's going to be a mini map in the bottom right here, but this will be a larger map um, that you can view of like the world. Um, this is a for for all your social needs. Eventually, there's going to be fr a friend system. There's going to be text chats and all kinds of stuff like that. It will be accessible through here. The text chat, like the mini map, will also have a window that's persistent all the time. This is a journal. That's where you're going to see like quests and achievements and things. And then there will be a store. I am very dedicated to not making this a pay-to-win game. Um, but I obviously need to make money and while I might make some money off of ads or some kind of a cost to purchase the game I will likely have something you can buy in the store probably things like Skins and whatnot that you find in games like League of Legends that give you a fun visual But don't actually impact the game in terms of uh, uh, Tilting the odds And finally there's another exit button for exiting once you're in game which I'm about to hit so there we go. That's my game so far. Um, the next thing on the to-do list is to create an alpha version that is in the Play Store and actually that I can provide to you guys so you can try it out yourself, which is also a very exciting step. So that's what I'll be working on next and uh, stay tuned to see how that goes. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.